Good, Good morning, morning, Seattle. <laughs> I'm Priya. I'm Jamee. And we are here to greet you. Welcome you to a beautiful morning here in Seattle. And today we wanted to talk about what is a soul partner and why we are soul partners. A couple of weeks ago in the Seattle Times, Jamee mentioned in an article about us being soul partners. And we wanted to explore uh, what that looks like for us and how that manifests in our relationship as best friends, but also ask you to think about that for yourself as well and reflect on who is showing up in your life at this time. Yeah, because there's so many ways to show love and intimacy and relationships and friendships and mm -hmm. what a significant other means to yeah. other people. Totally, because that can come in so many different forms. And I think especially now um, with so much, you know, in our world, um, as far as like unprecedented, like what does that look like and how can we celebrate and create joy? Um, mm. So I would love to be able to just say a couple of things of what a soul partner means to me and why you are my soul partner in life. So for me, a soul partner is someone who knows your deepest secrets and doesn't judge. Like how many more Mandy Moore songs make me cry <laughs> that I can't stand Priyanka Chopra, that I warm up my cereal, <laughs> and that I hate combing my hair. Therefore, it's full of secrets. Uh, of which I'm honored to hold all of your secrets. Truth. There, there's <laughs> certainly plenty in there. <laughs> Number two. When COVID came, there was no question about quarantining together. We're a household. My family is yours and yours is mine. In fact, it felt important to memorize each other's phone numbers in case anything happened related to illness, jail, or in case one of us dropped our phone in the toilet, which has happened. <laughs> Notably, it took three weeks for us to memorize each other's phone numbers. But we did. Got it. Number three, my joy is yours and yours is mine. Together, we're unstoppable. We make chalk art. We dress alike. I always want to be connected to you. I want to be helpful. I want to make your life easier. And I will strive to show up for the times when you need me and the times when you don't have the ability to find the words to tell me you do. I want to be your Ikea furniture builder, your plumber, your PR person, your protector, and your biggest fan always. So I have to keep it to three, but those are just three of the 30,000 reasons. My whole heart. <laughs> Okay, your turn. <laughs> okay, reason number one, it's really the little things. My favorite thing is that I live for when you answer the phone and just <laughs> knowing that you're always there for me and when you pick up the phone and the way you say hi, it automatically brightens my day and puts a smile on my face no matter how far we are a part or what the day has brought. It just is the most joyful hello that anyone could ever receive. Um, which brings me to number two. No matter what comes our way, you always ground me in abundance and joy. And I always hope to do the same for you. You're literally the most kind, generous, and helpful person that I know. <laughs> And you inspire me to be the same in my own way and, sh and find ways to show up for you and others the way you show up for them. And you do what is needed for them, um, not just what you think they need or what they should want. It's like you really have people's most self-authored intentions at heart. Which brings me to number three. <laughs> We support each other for who we are and who we want to be, and we challenge what we are told we should be or any prescriptions of who we should be. 
you lift me up and celebrate me, promote me and encourage me, and you gently nudge me towards growth and sometimes more than gentle as it relates to my decluttering issues. <laughs> But always in love and support, you help me make my dreams come true, and it nothing makes me happier than helping you make your dreams come true. Oh. And I've told you this before, but I think that we're a lot like binary stars. We shine bright individually, but we shine brightest when we're together. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. So, Seattle, Don't we cry. wanted to ask you, <laughs> what does your soul partner look like? Who shows up for you? And not just the good times, but in the tough times. Where do you find the most joy, resilience, and ability to move forward when things seem really tough and difficult? And we ask you to reflect on that and to also... Maybe just take a minute to let that person know that and show a little bit of what that courage and vulnerability could look like. 